Good afternoon everyone. So I know it has been quite a while since we actually worked in the 59 Impala. And today what we're going to do is we're going to clean up all this stuff that's on it and uh, eventually pull the hood off. Uh, start marking where we're going to cut the uh, front fender to make the patch panel or to put on the patch panel that we have. And uh, hopefully take out this engine. So that's the plan and uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, so we got the hood open and... Um, this is what it looks like. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two bolts right here. I'm going to mark where the hinge is originally at. And then the same thing on this side. Alright guys, so here's where we're at. We got the uh, motor mount bolts finally disconnected. Got the cross member loosened on the bottom. And the uh, transmission disconnected from the cross member. Um, so now we got the, uh, the hoist. We're getting it ready to position. Uh, we're going to move the car up just a tad bit. Uh, even though it is raining, but whatever. So, that's the plan. Okay, and on the uh, passenger side, what we are going to do is get rid of this bad uh, sheet metal right here. And uh, we're not going to go all the way over like on the other one because that one is a little bit more messed up. Uh, so, this is going to be the piece that we're going to use. And notice how this one, I guess when they were trying to get the uh, turn signal light or parking lamp, out they kind of cut it so what we're going to do is just kind of go about here all the way through here and then probably go that way uh, just to replace that and same thing on this one and then we'll probably use the outside cut that and then have the bottom of the uh the fender replaced Alright guys, so working on the 59 and kind of trying to see where we're going to cut the quarter, I mean the fender, sorry, but um, yeah, we want to keep a majority of this fender because uh, it does have the the parking number where this car was parked and um, the lower of the fender doesn't look too bad. So what we're going to do is... So what we're going to do is just make this patch right here obviously cut out the real bad stuff and just fab a new piece of metal in here and weld it and um, then in the future when this uh, fender really rusts out uh, then we'll um, swap it with this one that is pretty solid on the inside but we will end up uh, cutting this fender on the top kind of mimicking that other one that we're doing and uh, doing the same thing so So my brother uh, cut off the uh, fender like we had marked. So here's what it looks like. And uh, just so you guys know, um, this is part of the wheel well. And here is where the fender would attach to. As you can see, we cut before the, the bolt. But um, we're going to have to fab some sheet metal right over here. Because the radiator support will bolt onto this piece of sheet metal and then also the fender all right guys so while it's raining uh, what I'm gonna do is start mocking up the uh, patch for the front fender and uh, what I did was use the impact to take out these two bolts that were pretty rusted uh, one of them did break off but um, here's what we're trying to replace so here's the damaged portion on this fender and um, so we're probably gonna take it up to about here as you can see there's the panel that we're going to use and then we'll end up using this guy from that one and then uh, getting rid of this piece right here so we'll have all that what are you doing palito uh, i'm going to use this as a template and hopefully it works i think it will so then i'll just go like that and cut it up do it again And that right there is the piece that we need. So, smart, stupid tip to tell you guys, don't wear latex gloves. Yeah, why were you doing that? <laughs> so, uh, right now he's just test fitting it. Obviously, we do know that we need to clean it up a little bit because um, it's not going to fit perfectly unless he really cut it on the spot. But, how's it looking? Uh, it's almost there. It just needs a little bit Honestly, just...
All right, everyone. So uh, what I did was just mark where I'm going to cut the uh, fender uh, to replace this section right here. This would be where the headlamps would mount to. Um, it was either cut off or rusted out, one of the two, but uh, more than likely it was both of them. Um, so that's uh, going to be the line. So this is going to be right on the body line, it looks like. And then we're going to go at the second hole and then straight down. So um, this is going to be the piece that we're going to be using. And this one is pretty clean, actually. Um, so it's going to be the same cut, pretty much um, body line. And then at the ending or beginning, depending which way you're looking at the car, of the second hole, and that'll be straight down. All right, so here is the uh, bottom piece that we're going to end up cutting. Um, so what I did was kind of mock uh, the first line on the bottom, uh, but that is not what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the top one. Uh, just so we have some extra material, just in case. But this is going to be the one that we're going to go with. Alright, so finished cutting the uh, piece that we're going to use as our patch panel for the uh, lower fender. And uh, here's what she looks like. So we did. I did leave some extra material just in case. I know we're going to have to grind off a lot. So uh, I'm going to place it and see what it looks like. And then we'll go from there. All right, so just so everybody could see where we're at. So I do have to cut along uh, the top like I thought. And um, then over here as we're making our way to the arc, it is a little bit down because of this bolt right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to make this happen with one hand, but so this is where I need to trim on the top just a little bit as we're making that radius. All right, so after about an hour of grinding, uh, this is where we're at. So I had to strain out the lower edge of the fender a little bit. It was banged up, but... Sorry, it's kind of tough with one hand. But we are just about there. Obviously, I do need uh, some magnets to hold it in place, but everything is looking good. All right, everyone, so you're probably wondering what does this have to do with the 59 Impala? Well, just to show you guys, this is the passenger side door. And right here is where the door mounts on the bottom to the hinge. And this is all rusted up. So what I'm going to do is use this door or part of the door from the other 59, uh, the little guy. And um, what I'm going to do is find a good point to cut this one um, so we can use this part right here. So I'll probably use the bottom as well because this lip isn't as bad as this one down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, there you go. So that's what we're going to end up replacing. 